one cannot help but feel that there's something that exists only in cinema that would be nothing in a novel, the stage, or anywhere else, but that becomes fantastically beautiful on the screen. And a year later, he wrote very simply, uh, the cinema is Nicholas Ray. You know, it's a pretty big statement. Um, what, did, what did he mean? <coughs> what did he mean? I think you look at uh, this film, Rebel Without a Cause, the first thing that comes to mind is the shot of James Dean in his red jacket on uh, that red sofa, stretched out, his head dangling off, and then it cuts to his point of view, his mother coming down the stairs upside down. Um, and Natalie Wood... Uh, uh, raising her arms and, and giving the signal for the chicky race, the cars, the camera pulls back and then it cuts to that wide shot of all the cars turning their lights on or whatever. Quite, quite, quite extraordinary. And of course there's that remarkable tilt of the camera at the, at the end of the film uh, on Sal Minio as he falls down the steps of the planetarium. There are moments like that throughout the entire film. Uh, when I saw the picture, I was 13 years old, and I think the film opened a month after he got killed. James Dean got killed in a, in a, a car crash. Um, it was the perfect age to see the film. Uh, actually, any age is a perfect age to see the picture, but particularly in 1956, uh, 55, 56, there we were, uh, and he was speaking directly to us, the teenagers, the adolescents, directly to us. It was like a secret language that existed in the film. Um, it's uh, uh, something that has uh, stayed with me for years. Um, we found that the restoration itself has brought back so much of that initial impact of the picture to me. Um, and it's taken a while to get the restoration right, and it really has. There's been a lot of work done by everyone involved. Um, but I, I mean interesting work because apparently they didn't necessarily give him that many lights to do certain interiors because he wanted to make it, uh, uh, didn't want to spend too much money. So sometimes Natalie Wood goes in and out of the light and there's different levels of restoration because of that. Um, getting the color of her scarf right, getting the color of the, the red lamps and the police cars right. All of this uh, uh, took quite a long time. Um, and... As I say, seeing it for the first time was overwhelming. Seeing the restoration for the first time was also overwhelming, finally. And I can tell you that the picture works now, and I showed it to my daughter at the time, she was 13, and her friends, and um, there was silence afterwards, and when we got home, the kid at one point during dinner, they, you know, they, don't, they, don't, they don't open up right away, and she just suddenly said, that was really good. <laughs> It's really good pictures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in any event, um, in any event, I do hope you would uh, you uh, enjoy the uh, uh, Rebel Without a Cause tonight, and uh, um, thank everybody, as I say, who's been involved in the restoration because it really has been a painstaking one. Um, so, uh, uh, the restoration, as I say, is done by Gucci and the Film Foundation and Warner Brothers. Um, I thank them, and I thank you. <coughs> It's a pleasure to be here.